either you've got to know everything or adhere to the God who does know all things. First, first of all, what's wrong with appealing to absurdity? Guys, what this man is saying is true, but do you realize this? That God just cannot forgive sin. Yes, he can. God, yes, he can. wait, follow me here now. Follow me, follow me. The Bible says this, that all sin must have a punishment. Do you agree with that? If, hey, wait, man, if I broke into your house and I hurt you and your family, what? The judge is going to give me a fine. He's going to put me in jail. Why? Because I hurt you and your family. Now, think, think, about, think about God. God is a perfect judge. No sin can go unpunished. But this is the kicker here. Follow me on this. God says no sin can go unpunished. But Jesus has come. He's absorbed the just wrath of God like a sponge being submerged into a sink. He's absorbed the just wrath of God. So if we believe in him, we can be forgiven. But this is the kicker. If you don't believe in Jesus, you don't have your sins forgiven. And this is how you know you believe in Jesus. Matthew 3.8 says this, you will bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Now, let's say me and you, we got into horticulture, okay? You love planting apple trees, I love planting pear trees, okay? One day you came out in your orchard, you called me, you said, Tommy, my pear trees are giving off apples. We would know this, that that was no longer a pear tree. Why? Because the fruit on the tree tells us what the tree is. It's the same way if you say you are a Christian, you will know it by the fruit coming out of your life. So many people lie to themselves. They say they're Christian, but they live in sin. They live in a sexual... Say it one more time. Yes. Why are there scriptures that tell how to keep a slave? And that's the great point. She says this. Why does the Bible tell us how to keep slaves? And let me share you with this. When Jesus came to this earth, he freed us from slavery. He freed us from the slavery of sin. But you have to humble yourself before Jesus. See this? The Bible in the New Testament does not condone slavery. The Bible says this, Christ freed us from the slavery of sin. You once were a slave to sin. And ma'am, you are a slave to sin. Unless you submit to Christ. No, you know what I mean, right? Like uh, Brother Tommy said, greater is he who is in us than he was in the world. May your uh, glory reign, God, now. Yes. And may please protect people. Yes. Rescue lives and Lord, awaken people to their need of salvation. I ask in Jesus' yeah. name. Amen. That people are broken. That people are sinful. And somebody's shooting and hurting somebody just fulfills what this is saying. We know murder is wrong. People were protecting their children. They were protecting themselves. Everybody needs Jesus. This is why we need Jesus Christ. The very thing that went on here. Everybody needs Jesus. This is why the Bible says you don't know when you're going to die. Nobody knows when they're going to die. And that's why you need to be ready to face the God that created you because your life can be demanded of you the very moment.